Uh, Coach White and Coach Beamer, I've been talking to them probably every weekend, every, every day, every other day and stuff. And this commitment is huge for me because uh, I feel like I have the city on my back and stuff. You know, like coming out of Irmo, especially Irmo High School, not a lot of people, you know, go where I've gone or go to the level I can go or am going. But I feel like it's been big. I feel like the city loves me. I feel like I got the city on my back and I, the city's behind me and stuff. So I'm really excited for the Gamecocks next year and uh, we'll see how it turns out. And uh, what's their message to you? What's been to you? Oh, uh, to keep on playing hard and stay focused. Uh, I feel like me and Coach White have been uh, talking on the basis where, like, we got a good relationship, and you know, he he just asked me how, uh, how my game's been going throughout the week, and to stay focused, and you know, j just a good relationship like that. So. And what have you seen from the program? Obviously, this past week, not great. How much have you watched for, watched games, and uh, uh, when when are you planning on taking your official visit? Um. I have watched, I, I've been to uh, Kentucky. I've been watching a lot of SC, uh, the SEC games. I watched the Tennessee game. The start wasn't uh, so good. You know, it's a lot of uh, hate on Coach Beamer, but I don't blame him. Uh, it's his first season as a coach, so I do I do expect uh, changes next season, the season after that, just like uh, Coach Brand, his first year here, my sophomore year, uh, we really have a good season, but the following season, we had a great season. So I hope, hope things do, uh, the culture does change over there. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure it will when I get up there and stuff, but. Uh, my official visit, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not too sure about that. But. And if uh, someone has not seen Nick Emanwari play, uh, give me a scouting report on uh, Nick Emanwari. He's long, rangy. Can play sideline to sideline. He can cover your number one receiver. He can play in the box. He's athletic. He's a freak. He's coachable. He doesn't ask questions. He does his job and uh, a good guy. So. And just as far as. Um, 